Having trouble pulling up this morning. Hey, Mal. You, yeah, I didn't see you there. You after a coffee? Give me five minutes and I'll warm the machine up. Make you an easy chino. Trust me, once you've had one, you'll never go back. Actually, I'm pretty over coffee. Oh, well, if you want brekkie, you'll have to wait a bit. We're not sort of um, open for another half hour or so. It's probably a good thing. I don't reckon you want your customers to hear this. So I'm curious. Is breaking up marriage as a hobby for you or is this just a one-off? Sorry? No, you weren't that sorry last night at the bar when you were all over my father. No, no, wait a minute. We... No, you wait. I'm not going to stand by and watch while you destroy my family. Oh, your father and I are just good friends. Did you know that my mother is over in Adelaide crying herself to sleep every night? Does that even bother you? That has nothing to do with me. Look, you might think I'm stupid, OK? But I know what's going on. Stay away from him. We're not having an affair. My parents' marriage is on a knife edge and you just happen to be my father's confidant. Innocent as that. Well, if you're wondering why your parents are drifting apart, why not speak to them about it? I know what my mother thinks of you and I know my father's weaknesses. You've got homewrecker written all over you, Izzy. I have done nothing wrong here. I won't let you speak to me like that. You don't even know me. I don't want to. Malcolm! Malcolm! What's going on? According to your girlfriend, I'm supposed to be asking you that. What? Because she reckons she's the innocent party in all of this. In all what? What are you talking about? I'll leave you to it. You probably want to get your story straight. What'd you say to him? 